All right, what's going on my friends? Today I'm gonna to be showing you one of my favorite tools, the Ronin, and some 10 techniques that we always use here at Hawk Visuals. We got Ryan, hopefully catching some fish behind me here. He'll be my actor today. So I'm gonna show you 10 moves with the Ronin. Let's do it. So the first one we're gonna do is just a simple pan in. You can do this whether the person's walking towards you or if they're stationary. Very, very simple shot. We would do it a lot. So here we go. So I'll lock the Ronin. Simple pan in, focusing on Ryan. And boom, there you go. So the first one we did was a pan in. Now we're gonna do the pan out. So instead of me panning into Ryan, I'm gonna start basically at his, uh, his rod right here, or his reel, and I'm gonna step backwards as he casts. So let's check this out. All right. So, three, two, one, go. Sick. Next one is called the crane. Now you can start from either the ground up or from the top of the person down below. It's basically kind of a pan in where you go up a little bit or you go down a little bit. Let me just show you what that is. Oh yeah, the action shot. All right, so we'll start low, and we'll start to raise up a little bit, focusing on his hat. Boom. Now you can also do the same thing from the reverse, from the hat, down. Next shot is called the orbit. So I'm gonna have Ryan in the center, and I'm gonna walk around him as if he's a planet. There you go, there's the orbit. We'll keep the subject in the center and I will do a nice little orbit around the person, keeping the same distance from the subject to make a nice little orbit shot. Okay, next one's going to be a reveal shot. So Ryan is right here setting up his next uh, lure. So I'm gonna actually take these leaves here in the foreground and just slowly pan through it, revealing Ryan, who is now tying up his lure. Let's check this one out. All right, so I'll get down in the bushes here, and this branch right in front of me will be my foreground, and I'm simply going to pan right through it, revealing Ryan, setting up his lure. A very, very simple shot, very effective, and adds a bit of depth as you start to reveal the subject, which is our fantastic fisherman, Ryan. You can also do a super tight shot like I'm doing now. So I'm gonna start from Ryan's back, loop around to reveal a tackle box being open. These are always really cool shots to show action. You can do wide shots, tight shots. This is one example of a tight shot. So I'm gonna start right from behind Ryan. I'll give him a countdown when he's ready. Open up the tackle box, reveal the insides, and that'll be a cool little transition. So uh, Ryan, go ahead. Tilting down, opening it up. I'll pan in actually, and there you go. Super easy transition, but these are always nice to show. So one of the most used Ronin moves that we do is the simple follow. Whether it's in front of Ryan or behind Ryan, a very simple follow move is always gonna be a crowd pleaser. So this is a very easy one. I'm gonna have Ryan move forward, and I'm gonna walk right behind him, keeping him in focus. So Ryan, go ahead. Nice and slow movements for me. Very, very simple shot, but super effective. As he walks, I can also orbit around him if I want to have a little bit of an extra little effect. And there you go. This is usually a good shot for establishing a sequence. Um, very, very simple shot. Okay, so a little bonus here. Uh, we do this sometimes, not all the time, but if you wanna get super creative, this is a really fun trick. So we're gonna do a chest back transition shot. So Ryan will walk towards me into the camera, then I'm gonna flip behind him and zoom away from his back, making a pretty cool transition after we do the shot. So here we go, first part here. So I'm gonna record this, and I'm gonna record right into his chest. Ryan will literally kind of walk up against the lens. We'll stop and we'll reset for the back. So, Ryan, let's go, right towards me. 
stop. Perfect. Now I'll go from the back. And I'm gonna start right on his jacket and I'm gonna walk back as he walks forward. So Ryan, go ahead. So there we go. So now we have the option of using either the follow shot that we got before this or this kind of unique little chest back transition. Pretty cool. So next one, we're gonna do a side scrolling shot, very similar to a pan in or a follow shot, except now we're just going strictly on the side profile. And in this case, there is a waterfall little feature behind us. So I wanna reveal that at the very end, these are awesome shots for that. Um, so let's do it really quick right now. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna lock my gimbal. Very simple side scroll. There we go. So I'm uh, perched up pretty high here. Get it? Because of the fishing. <laughs> um, so this is gonna be a top-down pan shot. This is kind of like if you imagine a drone's eye perspective on top of an item, I'm gonna pan straight down, keeping it as you know vertical as I possibly can. And this will be a good transition to go from the back reveal that we just did to now a top-down shot to give you some options. So I'm gonna flip out the screen so I can see it. Keep this as vertical as I can. I'm gonna lock the camera and I'm gonna give Ryan a countdown. Ready? Three, two, one. I'm gonna pan down to reveal the tackle box. Perfect. So a lot of shots we do just to have some options. Again, we don't know exactly what we're gonna go for when we're shooting, but at least if we have some options, we can cut from one to the other and have a variety of shots when we shoot a lot of our, uh, a lot of our videos. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little bit more flavor to these shots. So in this particular shot, I'm gonna do a pan in, but I'm also, with the trigger here, gonna pan the camera up a little bit. So it'll pan in and zoom up to his face, adds a bit more effects and adds a little bit more complexity to an already pretty simple shot. So here we go. I'm gonna set up behind the bush here. I'm gonna lock the Ronin so it doesn't move anywhere on this axis, and as I get to him, I'm gonna pan up. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in. As I get closer to Ryan, I'm gonna pan right up to his face. And there we go. Super simple shot, but again, as you add more complexity, it just makes a world of difference. So now we're gonna do a low angle side scrolling shot. So this shot in my head, I'm gonna have Ryan walk, put the tackle box down, open it up again, and just add a little bit more creativity to the shot. So what I'll do is I'm gonna have the Ronin go down for a low angle. And since I don't have a screen right now, I'll flip this open so I can see it. And then what I'll do is I'll zoom in on his feet and I'm gonna prompt Ryan to walk sideways. I'm gonna focus on his feet. And then when he puts the tackle box down, that'll be our little sequence. So here we go. Let's hit record. Uh, so nice and slow, Ryan, and go. Tackle box down. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so now we're gonna do another iteration of a pan shot or a simple pan shot with a little bit of a tilt barrel roll, they call it on the Ronin. I'm gonna set it to sport mode, which allows me to do these quick little movements. And so I'm gonna prompt Ryan to cast. I'm gonna do a little bit of a tilt. Again, just adds a little bit of flair to an already pretty simple shot. All right, so I'll pan in. Ryan, you can cast, tilt the camera, and boom. And I'll start here again, and I'll start panning back to where we were. A little bit of a barrel roll. Again, these aren't always necessary. This is a little bit of a flair we'll add to it just to make things that much better for the editor. <laughs> 